Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Friday and FIFA Ultimate Team. Foot Birthday is ending. Team 2 of Foot Birthday is ending. What's going to happen today? That's the biggest question that we have to try to answer. We're going to take a look back at last year and throw some ideas out for what EA could do today. It doesn't look like we're getting a new promo as of right now. We actually have scheduled maintenance that's about to happen in like 30 minutes. So I'm trying to record this video before maintenance goes live so that I do not get kicked out of FIFA. Um, but the market is extremely high. We'll talk about that. Foot birthday, two cards have dropped off with the marquee matchups. They're actually released some big packs in the store yesterday, kind of like a last chance maybe for people to try to pack um, foot birthday team two cards that are in packs right now. And I think that really supplied the market yesterday. Combination of marquee matchups, a tradable pack supply SBC, some tradable packs from league SBCs, and all those packs that are in the store, some 100 and 125K packs. But I also want to kind of, again, get some theoretical thinking out there and actually look back to last year at something that EA did on that Friday when foot birthday ended to kind of keep that promo going for a few more days. So I know last year, the whole entire foot birthday promo was about the teams and packs. It wasn't all about the SBCs that we have had this year with, you know, 12 days straight of foot birthday themed SBCs. But I don't know if you guys remember this at all, but last year, right after team two of foot birthday went out of packs, what they did was EA tweeted this and they said, both foot birthday teams are available in packs for a limited time and this is how they kept people interested in foot birthday for the next three days so like boom this friday would come team two goes out of packs but then they re-release teams one and two and i could see ea doing this again this time around if they want to try to keep this foot birthday promo going a little bit longer now of course we haven't had anything added to the code we have nothing new i don't know if the maintenance tonight's going to change that maybe there'll be some pack code added in the morning today on friday but as of right now nothing new has been added so i want to talk about this a little bit because ea does like to repeat themselves year over year in some aspects of fifa and i think that if ea wanted to throw both teams of foot birthday players in packs today that they absolutely could do that. Now, as we're taking a look at the prices right now, a lot of these foot birthday cards are down. Again, as we mentioned from that supply that happened yesterday, foot birthday Adama was down at 1.2 mil flat. He's still at about 1.229. Uh, you know, you have guys like Awar at 900K. Atal is like 730. Chan, 260K. Gunter is 100,000 coins. Modric is down a lot. These foot birthday two players are down a decent amount. Now, foot birthday team one is actually up. A good bit if you take a look at, at most of these cards a lot of the foot birthday team one is up now I'm, i know you're hearing this and like yo i have some foot birthdays in my team should i sell them now in my opinion i don't think that you would have to go out and panic sell them right now because again this is just kind of some hearsay right this is just kind of looking back at last year this is all theoretical i don't know if ea is legit gonna drop all foot birthdays back in packs again today but it is a possibility because it happened last year and if EA is trying to kind of take the same route towards team of the season as they did last year, they could very easily do that again today. So that's why I'm mentioning it. Now, what happens? What happens if they drop both foot birthday team one and team two in packs today? Obviously, some people bought these cards today, try to invest in them. You might see some of these prices go down a little bit because... People invested in these cards for a potential rise out of packs into tomorrow, but if they get re-released and people see that, there's going to be a lot of panic selling right away if they're again in packs um, today and maybe through the weekend or through the next week if EA wanted to do that. And for foot birthday team number one, you're just going to see a lot of these prices drop because they're going to be back in packs. A lot of these cards are up a lot, right? Hermoso was 200K. He's now 260. Tiago's up like 40K. Vardy's was just over 900. Perisic is up like 40,000 coins. So a lot of these cards would 100% drop. Even though they've risen nicely out of packs, if they were re-released, you would see a lot of panic happen, especially in the first 30 minutes to an hour with these full birthday cards. And of course, they get supplied. Last year, they again, as you saw here, they put them in packs for three days. It said here on the loading screen, uh, they put them into packs for three days. So they went out 6 p.m. on Monday, and then after that, they exploded. So if that's the same case, with this year, if they do it again, this is theoretical, if they do it, you'll probably look for like a Saturday night or Sunday at some point um, if they run lightning rounds um, for these guys to be cheapest and then potentially rebounding back up into the next week. Because again, these cards have a lot of hype, right? So again, 
If this does happen today, that's kind of the market movements that I'm expecting. I think you will see a few people selling full birthday cards into the content drop today. I, do, I think you'll see a little bit of the market get sold off. Not a ton, but maybe just a little bit into the 6 p.m. time frame today. Because again, other things that people are expecting today on Friday, even though it does not look like we're having a promo, other things people are expecting today is an Icon SBC. We'll talk about fodder as well. Everybody wants an Icon SBC. People are pleading for it on Twitter everywhere that you look. You just see people wanting Icon SBCs, Icon SBCs. That's what everybody wants. Now, one quick point to make out here and just kind of to, to show, 82 to 88s, the 83 double and the party bag that was released yesterday, the party bag only had a 20, 24 hours, only out for one day. So it expires today at 6 p.m. That always makes me curious when the upgrade SBCs expire and when the you know other certain SBCs expire at, on a Friday at 6 p.m. That always makes me kind of curious to see what EA is going to do. So, of course, we have those upgrades expiring. Um, if EA were to put both teams in packs, I would expect some sort of upgrade packs maybe for the weekend if they wanted to keep us involved with that. Um, but if, it, also for an Icon upgrade SBC, I feel like they would upgrade or re-up some of those upgrade packs as well. And again, a lot of people are looking at the SBCs in this game right now like, yeah, there's a decent amount of SBCs out to do. But everybody just wants that icon, right? Everybody just wants that icon upgrade SBC or icon player SBCs. Now, I, in my opinion, I think we're not going to get any more icon player SBCs unless EA is going to break their mold of what they've been doing this year because they released a few sets and now they let them sit for a while. And that's what they did last time. There were icon SBCs out for players. Um, but we haven't had an actual icon upgrade SBC for a while and just so you know which ones we could be progressing to next in this game we could be progressing progressing towards a repeatable prime icon upgrade and a one-time non-repeatable prime moments player pack because that is in the code it was added with the last set of swaps and it has not been used yet so I don't think there's a prime player pick that's in the code, uh, but they could also put out any of these swaps packs, right? So an 81 plus prime, that is in the code as well. And also the prime or moments pack, they could release uh, that because that's in the code for icon swap. So that is there. That could come today. It really could. And we'll take a look at fodder here right now because I know a lot of you guys are wondering what to do with this stuff. Because again, just like we saw actually Wednesday into Thursday, we're seeing again Thursday into Friday, this fodder stuff got sold off massively earlier today. It got kind of its lowest during the Europa League. People again invested in it because it just got crazy low. You saw guys like Renato Sanchez was like 650K to complete his SBC. He's now back to like 680, but cards got crazy, crazy low. De Bruyne was like 84K. Uh, the 90 rated cards were almost 70K flat or below. 88s were in the low uh, 40s, like 43, 44K. Uh, so this stuff was really low, right? And if you take a look at some of the market indexes, we'll take a look at index 86. 86s were 25,000 coins. You saw them get really low a couple hours after the content drop, and now they've kind of to started to go back up again as people buy this stuff because it's quote unquote really low. And, you know, they're hoping for an icon SBC or some sort of big SBC to make it go boom uh, once again. But I also just want to put in perspective to last year, just how crazy fodder uh, is priced this year, right? We look at 86s and we're like, man, they're really cheap right now at 26, 27,000 coins because these guys were at once 40,000 coins when that player pick was out, you know? Uh, last year, around this time, fodder was quote unquote through the roof and expensive, and 86s were 25K. 84s last year were uber expensive and they were 7,000 coins. This year, super expensive for 84s is like 11K or 12K. It's crazy how expensive fodder is this year and the depths that people are willing to go to pay to do an SBC squad. And EA knows that and they're taking full advantage of that, which of course makes you think that we would have some sort of icon SBC today. So again, Today on Friday, could we get the foot birthday cards re-released in packs? Yes, I think it's a possibility. What's the percentage chance of that? I have no idea. I'm just talking about it because I want to prepare you guys for that just in case it does happen and let you know about that because it is a possibility, right? It, it was done last year. Um, and, you know, we haven't had that like at all this year. I don't know if we've had that once this year. Thinking back from the top of my head, um, a team that has been re-released in packs after they've both gone out of packs, re-releasing them both 
into packs. Now, maybe that has happened. I'm forgetting, but um, I don't know if we've had that this year, but it could happen with full birthdays because it did last year. We will have to see. Now, of course, there is maintenance that's coming soon. I don't know if we're going to have stuff added to the code after the whole maintenance thing comes out or whatever, um, but I don't know if that's going to change the trajectory of things, but as of right now, it's kind of like we're scrambling for ideas. What's going to happen this weekend? We didn't have the Weekend League Plus player pick, so some people are like, hey, we should be having a promo. Other people are like, nah, that doesn't really mean anything, which is kind of the stance that I'm taking and, and I'm on, but um, yeah, today on Friday is kind of a really curious day. We're really not too sure what to expect. Now, one thing is for sure, icons and this market in total is freaking inflated right now like crazy let me just show you let me just show you how much this market is up right now the index icons 53 points yesterday right around the rewards time frame 58 points right now for the index icon a crazy rise if you've watched any of these icon prices i mean look at these guys michael owen up 15 percent 15 percent these cards up crazy crazy high amounts i mean if you even if you just take a look at some graphs um out of packs cards not just icons this whole entire market has really taking off right hernandez was 600k earlier this past week he's 680 holland is 526 you look at a lot of these out of pack special cards they have ballooned um Penandez was 1.27 earlier tonight. He was 1.1, like almost flat earlier this week. Uh, Bamba is up from 300,000 coins. Ben Yedder was like 890. He was even 900k flat on Wednesday. You know, road to the finals are sky high. Varane's back to 1.9 mil. Um, you've got freeze cards that are up. You have team of the knock, team of the group stage cards. 1.14 for Messi. He was a million coins flat or below that earlier this week. Um, so you saw a huge rise with weekend league rewards and honestly stuff kept going higher after that. It's crazy to see some of these rises. Um, Bergwine was like low 400s. He's now 492. Reyna was 650 and now he is 728. Barnes was down in the, the 260 range to 50 range. So a lot of the stuff is up and I just, I just want to throw a word of caution out there. Just a word of caution that we are edging closer and closer to team of the season all right last year and this is maybe gonna jar some of your minds i know this year in fifa is different but last year we had the foot birthday cards that were re-released back into packs on that friday when they were re-released one week after that was when we had the team of the season so far loading screen drop and tell us that it was one week until team of the season and then that morning after is when we had the crazy panic selling you know we had the crazy drop-offs then the rebound but the crashing continued throughout that week so just to kind of put that and remind you guys of what happened last year now of course this year is probably going to be different it should be different because it's no longer team of the season so far it should be a legit team of the season um but we're entering into that tots time frame and since the market has gone so high very recently and we've seen such a big bounce back on this stuff mbappe is 520k this guy was down in the 460s uh this last week um if there is a card that you have in your team right now especially some of these icons or maybe icon moments that are gonna get sold off because stuff gets sold off like massively as, as we head into team of the season because you know what comes out during team of the season it's the insane cards and the value for those cards is the big issue so and the big thing that's why team of the season is so hyped up but um if you have some really high tier cards or you know just cards that have gone up a lot in your team this weekend and you have them tradable and you want to take the cash i'm not telling you to start selling before team of the season i'm just saying watch the prices right because the prices have gone up so much this weekend if we don't get much content today you know people in the next two weeks regardless are going to start speculating about team of the season last year it kind of we were kind of blindsided by it we were not we knew team of the season was coming soon but last year it really just dropped right in front of us on that friday and that's why the panic was so crazy last year um was because it was just kind of like this dropped down in front of us so that's kind of what I'm saying. I just want, I don't want you guys to be super duper prepared or super duper surprised. I want you to be prepared um, for this stuff as we get closer and closer to that date coming into that time frame of FIFA coming. So again, 
I'm not expecting to see huge, huge panic today unless EA drops a madness. Again, maybe they could drop like some sort of guaranteed full birthday. Um, that kind of SPC could be added to the code. Those kind of potential opportunities are endless, right? Icon SPC, guaranteed full birthday. I don't think we'll get another party bag. We got that yesterday, which we called here on the channel. We called that, nailed it right in the head. So that was a GG. If you bought any 84s, they did go up. So GGs if you did that. Um, and... Yeah, man, today on Friday is going to be a very, very interesting day. One last thing I want to talk about is, again, I want to just talk about the supply and to talk about one very interesting League SBC that came out yesterday, too. Yesterday on uh, Thursday, we had that, of course, Party Bag SBC that was released. We had a tradable 25K pack SBC called uh, like Party Supplies or something like that, whatever that was, um, kind of a cringe SBC name. We also had, let me go to the store for this one. EA, it was kind of random, right? EA dropped some big boy packs in the store. Now, this is pretty smart from them if you think about it. They dropped five 100Ks and three 125s in the store. Basically, if you're somebody that's on FIFA, you're seeing this as a last chance of packing a uh, team of the, well, sorry, not team of the season, a full birthday team two player. This was one of your last chances to do it. Maybe you had some FIFA points left over or you've been, your club has been drained and they don't run lightning rounds during the week. I think a decent amount of people opened up these packs because there was so much supply on the market yesterday. Um, fresh icons were popping up on the 59th, left, right, and center. And you had those full birthday cards dropping as well with the marquee matchup supply. Um, and that pack supply from the store, maybe a slight bit of that was also um, because of the re-release of the EFL Championship and the Bundesliga uh, League SBCs. But a lot of these packs are untradeable. This one's interesting, though. This is the EFL Championship League SBC. And if you look at that group reward, an 81 times 7 pack. Now, I think this got overlooked today, but I don't know if you guys like to do BPM to bronze upgrades, to silver upgrades. I don't even know if this grind is really worth it. You might have to tell me, but 81 times seven pack from a league SBC is very interesting, right? I think there's some people that are probably gonna try to grind this, stack up those packs, and then hold them for team of the season upcoming in you know the next couple of weeks, because that could be a pretty spicy pack to open during team of the season. I know it's an 81 times seven, so you're probably gonna end up getting four 81s in there anyway. But uh, you know, you've seen the 81 times 25. You've seen the, you know some of those packs that have been released. There's potential, right? Since you get seven players and they're all 81 plus, um, I think that was a very interesting pack uh, that was released today. But also, again, that supply, right? I was looking at the um, some of the foot birthdays from today, like Atal. I bought an Atal at 720,000 coins, and I ended up selling it for 725 because then I went and looked at the supply. I thought this card might rise a little bit overnight. This guy's supply was ridiculous at 750. There were 16 pages of Atal at 750K and below earlier. Now, of course, it's nighttime. It's dried up a little bit, but a lot of these prices have not gone up from where they were at a point earlier today. Some of them have even gone down. Awar is up like 20K. Tamori is up like 25K. Atal is up 20k, right? But still, for this stuff, maybe it rises up a little bit more in the morning. But again, um, I would, I'm going to stay away from these cards, in my opinion, because there was a lot, a lot of supply that was put out today. Uh, and if we have a very non-tent Friday, could these cards rebound back and go up even higher? Yes, I, I do think they could. And I think that even after the weekend league, you'll see them drop and then another chance to buy them if nothing happens to see them rise back up because these are very meta cards that a lot of people want to try out. And if there's nothing to do in this game, people are going to buy cards and put them in their teams until they have a reason to do something else otherwise. So I do think there's some potential moves with this foot birthday team too, depending on what happens in uh, today for the content. So I think there's just a lot of question marks around today's content. I'm going to be staying almost fully liquid. Um, it was a pretty decent day of trading for me. Flipped a couple icons on stream. Got a really awesome lazy sale on this Cannavaro at the time. He's back to about this 1.6 million price range. So it's not that crazy of a sale. It was just pretty crazy at the time. Um, and then Thursday flips were a massive success. I don't know if you guys flipped any of those cards, but uh, I still have a Le Melu that I bought at 89K, but I'm almost at four mil, right? With a decent amount of, of fodder here on the transfer list that I'm probably just gonna end up holding and keep uh, holding here on the transfer list until we get some sort of SBC. Cause I do feel like EA will drop some sort of SBC pre team of the season um, to make some of that fodder go up and to try to drain some coins before we get into that team of the season time frame. So 
Sorry, I went on a little bit of a rant at the end of that video right there, at the end of the recording, but 100% watch the market today for stuff that is gone super duper high. If there's any panic selling and we have no content today, some of that stuff is probably gonna rebound back. Of course, it's another day. People really want Icon SBCs. People are gonna be thinking, hey, today could be the day that an Icon SBC come. It could, but it also might not. So really curious to see what EA does today with possibly putting those foot birthday cards back into packs, potentially potentially not doing that. Maybe an Icon SBC, maybe a new promo that they're really keeping a secret from us right now. And they're going to surprise us with today on Friday too. So who knows what's going to happen today on Friday, but we're going to be live streaming it down on Twitch. Check that link down below in the description. If you want to get involved there, if you, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Just out. Keep, keep.